I'm on the team that helped build the Slack Forms app along with a couple of other Slack apps that you might have seen in the store. Um, so today I'm just going to show you a couple of really quick tips on some of the features that were built into the Forms app um, and how your team can kind of get started with using it. Um, so you can see here I've got a bit of a dashboard. If you click on Forms and Recent Apps, or if you don't have that, you can just message the Forms app and it'll bring that up for you. Um, but this is where you can basically manage or create your forms. So under here, I've, I've got a few forms that I've created and I can also filter forms by ones that I've assigned to specific channels or forms that I've actually assigned a keyword to, which we'll get to in a second. Uh, so here, you know, I can go into any form, I can preview it to see what it actually looks like. You know, nothing too crazy. I can also edit it or I can remove the form altogether. Um, so you've obviously got your help there and then I'm going to show you what it's like to actually create a new form So this is what you'll see when you try and create a form um, You'll see you know all the inputs that you can add so we can just add a single line input uh, For every input you want to assign a title. So I might just say uh, let's just call this customer feedback um, And actually I probably want this one to be a little bit longer. So I'm going to remove this form I'm going to add a multi-line input. Uh, again, I'll just give it a title of customer feedback. Um, the other thing I'm going to do is add a quick date picker. I probably want this to be first, so I'm going to move that one up. Um, call this feedback date. And then down here is where I can set the title of the form. So I'm just going to call this customer feedback. Um, give it a bit of a description so I know and other people know what this form is actually all about. So feedback form. I can specify um, either a channel. So this is where a if I was to just type slash form, this form would automatically appear. Um, the other option I have is to set a keyword. So you can specify either the channel that you want the form to automatically appear in or the keyword that you want to trigger that form. Um, so this one, I'm actually going to set a keyword. I'm going to call it customer feedback. So anytime I type slash form customer feedback, it's going to bring up the form that I've created just here. Then we can preview this form just to see what it's going to look like. Yep, pretty standard. And then I can create it and you'll see it comes up here. So I can filter down just to see forms that have the keyword. And it'll load in a sec, keyword. Yep, oh, so yeah, we've got all the forms there that have a keyword. Um, cool, so let's go into here. And I'll just type in form customer feedback. Cool. And this is a form that we created earlier, so I can specify the date. Uh, we'll go back to February 20th um, and then just enter in the text here. So we had great feedback. And then when I submit this form, it'll just send it through to the channel, all nicely formatted. And you'll know that any form, uh, so any message that was sent through will come through uh, from the Forms app. Um, if I had assigned it to the channel, I could just type form, or if I you know, assigned it to any other keyword, I would just type form followed by the keyword here, and it would pick that up. Um, you can also add, so we've got a date and a multi-line here, but you could add um, a, custom, uh, sorry, a channel select or a user select. Um, and you know pretty much as many forms as uh, form fields as you want. So yeah, those are some of the quick features. Again, if I wanted to uh, edit this form, I just go to the forms app, find the form I wanted, and I could delete it there. Thanks.